Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Gaming to the Max and our playthrough of the Queen Government in Kaiserreich. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy episode one, watching the mechanics of us overthrowing the old government, and now we are in our civil war to restabilize the Queen Government. So we are going to start our focus for secure the northern Chinese uh, or secure North China Plain. Uh, blood in the water. Man the borders. Zhaoling must not be allowed in eyes on the border. So this is saying that the Feng Tang government has smelled blood, realizing that we have went into a civil war, and we must make sure that they do not uh, knock us out. So we will actually take Lu Zhengting um, in charge of our armies, and we will put the marshal and the general to the north with our remaining forces. Um, this civil war, once it opens up, is not done by, um, uh, it is done by decisions. It's not done by, like, pop-up events. And I'll show you that once we get, um, our four days done. Um, Siam's new constitution. So, Siam has gained a new, uh, constitution. And our noble allies have, uh, sent us a great deal of money. So we get more political power, which is very, very nice. So, um, the kingdom of Finland has fallen. They're probably not just Finland. Oh, they're fascist Finland. Yeah. Fascist Finland. Okay. Secure the North China Plain. We can do the Uneasy Coalition. 14 days just gets the event, the Uneasy Coalition. Um, and then these are our decisions. So, we will push to the Yellow River. Um, for the next 15 days, we'll have negative 50,000 weekly manpower, and uh, daily command power gain is negative 25. Um, Zhao Jun, Deming, and Yi Sheng Shi will no longer de be demilitarized once we're done, as, so, as well as heavy. We will get plus 50 political power, plus 3 army experience, and authoritarian uh, democracy will drop down to negative 7.5. So, click on that. Let that go. That's going to take 14 days as well. And we will jump into here. Uh, I'm going to let it play in the background at speed 4. So we'll get refugees from Xinjuan. That again is going through a massive, massive famine. And so we'll try to help out however we can. That gives us uh, daily political power cost 0 0.05. Weekly manpower uh, plus 1800. And weekly stability plus 50% for 90 days. So that's not bad. So we do have three choices. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to let this continue on in the background. Um... But we have the uh, Zhang She, which is the Royalist Party. Uh, the Yanning Clink has fallen into uh, civil war. You have the YCP, which is the authoritarian uh, Democrat, uh, democratic route. The people we didn't just overthrow, but it's the Young Chinese Party. Um, focused on centralization in the country and urbanize, uh, urbanization. I like the broad popular support of the NCERA. Though their modern and focus makes them a good choice for quick development. You have them, who's the Manchu nobility. Um, that is paternal autocrat. And they they kind of... Uh, you can kind of go down and see what they raise the banners and stuff. Or then you have the New Chinese Emp uh, Empire Reform Association, or NCERA for short. It's a powerful party that controls the loyalty of both rural peasants and some urban intellectuals, they are less focused on industry modification. Their emphasis on helping the great mass of population makes them extremely popular. Um, and you get negative 10% stability for each one. And you can kind of see uh, modernized rural infrastructure. You get weekly stability, I guess, for the rest of the time. Um, a lot of them become developing rural regions. You get a benevolent empire, uh, emperor. I think, personally, we'll go down the uh, NCERA and go down that route with the social conservatives. Uh, technically, the, and this is I, I don't really understand when the um, the armies win when we win the civil war. Um, the social conservatives are no longer the royalist party. The paternal autocrats are because you defeated the Zili clique. And the um, so, uh, social conservatives are then the um, NCERA. 
but if we wanted to, the Young China Party uh, also becomes uh, the uh, uh, authoritarian Democrat. Sorry. So an uneasy coalition that's just telling you that there's many groups of advisors and stuff that are saying, hey, this is what we need to do. This is what we need to do. So we have a choice, the legacy of the new armies that does a one-time 50% cost reduction for land doctrine. It tells you pretty much that the emperor formed new armies and they overthrew him. So now we're going to go back and after learning our mistakes, or you can do the Shanghai connection, which is uh, saying that after all of these wars and how the world has turned out, we can hire bandits, hire Russian advisors or hire exiles in the legation cities. Um, and that gives you a negative 5% stability just for taking that focus. But if you hire Russian advisors, I got this far in my practice campaign, uh, you get a one-time 50% reduction for land doctrine. If you hire exiles and legation cities, they give you a bonus to submarines and hiring bandits gives you just three units, just three crappy units. Um, so I guess just to try to save <laughs> my stability, cause we are pretty low on stability right now. Um, and this does cost political power, which we don't have a lot of political power to spay, uh, to, um, uh, give out, uh, use. We'll do the uh, legacy of the new armies. So, so victory, uh, our imperial palace, uh, that our troops have reached the Yellow River and have scattered the Zeli garrison. So long live the son of the emperor. Then we will do assault on Liu Wang. Uh, again, this is the same information as this one. It does take a uh, negative 55,000 weekly manpower and uh, daily command power gain uh, 0.25 negative but it does give us plus 50% political power, plus six army experience, and negative 7.5% authoritarian Democrat. So yeah, we pretty much knocked the authoritarian Democrat uh, Democrat party out, so that's why I really wouldn't understand why you would go back to using uh, the Young China party after you just defeated the authoritarian Democrats, but they do have pretty good uh, stats as well. We're no longer getting the effects of Black Monday, so we don't have the... Uh, plus 10% consumer factories. I chose the uh, Zongshe, my practice camp play, uh, play. So we do have a victory in Longyang, long live the son of the uh, heaven. I'll do mop up isolated garrisons here in, uh, in former Zili territory. That will have Gongzong, Zengyang, Ruyang, and Kaofeng no longer be demilitarized zones this will only cost us negative 5,000 manpower and uh, still the point two five negative uh, daily command power gain and authoritarian uh, democracy negative 10 again so we'll start that again but I chose the Xiong Zhang as the uh, like a royalist faction sorry um, but I don't I mean they they all have their own good or bad trait so yeah I mean they all have the uh, YCP offers more military um, ways they have a lot more better military uh, choices the uh, young Shang offer better um, factories and then um the ncera offers better like for the people type of belief so and maybe i'll play another playthrough of queen uh china and another victory in the south and then we'll do the final push which knocks out the very last uh remnants of the old uh government where they defeated the kmt originally uh and Wuhan is no longer in the militarized zone, costs us another uh, negative 55,000, and paternal autocracy goes to negative 100%. So we lose all paternal uh, autocracy. So, Zili, quick, quick, will be no more. First thing we should look at, um, I will do Northern uh, School, which is uh, the ordinance. But let's see. I need me a general. Start getting me 
uh, army experience. So Asian Giro Zatayo, which is the young gentleman that I chose not to uh, give power to, but I'll give him uh, our cavalry force because, as you all know, I do not really care for cavalry forces, but. If we're forced to have him for this little bit, I'll at least give a general under them so he can get some training. We have three days until the Zihli Quick is completely destroyed in the Civil War. Two and one. Long live Son of the Heavens. So we remove the Zihli Manchu Civil War. So we no longer have negative 20% uh, ability negative 20% production efficiency and we are no longer losing uh, 750 manpower per week so that is nice once we finish out legacy of the new armies we will move over to um, our government system so and the left kuman sang is still fighting the nanjing click um, and we will see what happens there the reason why i left my army up there is no we no longer have that focus where they can attack us at any time but i don't have a uh, particular enemy enemy just yet so uh, german east asia has declared war on indochina so pretty much what used to be french territories here um are now german the dutch east indies is still the dutch east indies and um germany also got malaya so Zvenno coup in Bulgaria, which means the uh, the military has cooed in Bulgaria. The paternal autocrats and Indochina declares independence by a very uh, no, it's not him because uh, I think Ho Chi Minh had been killed. Yeah. So you got this man here that's in charge of the uh, communist rebellion in the. Uh, East Asia. What's, what, what is Vietnam, uh, um, Cambodia, and other uh, countries? So let's see here. So now we are in charge by still the Royalist Party, but that will change here in a second. And we have some pretty awesome political advisors. Negative uh, 2.5% consumer factory goods. And then, like, Lang Shuming, plus 5% recruitable population, plus 3% stability, plus 2% research speed. Uh, and then construction speed, you got a negative 3% consumer good factories there. Plus 5% factory output and a negative 30% um, design cost. Let's see. I want mm, stability first because we're... At 14% stability now, so there we go. We're not negative. Waiting for the legacy of the new armies to finish. Uh, during this time, you don't really have to choose a focus over here. You can just build up political power, but I, I don't, I don't see the um, the reason to do that. So this will finish up here in a second, seven days. We'll crank it up to five speed because again, we're just kind of waiting for our focus tree to to progress through right now long yun has secured power in yunnan so the kmt did not or the nra did not take power so we will do uh form an emergency government which is a 28 day focus it's pretty much just says uh and this tells you here uh, the city shuffle. So you have the Young Shea or Royalist Party is the newest to the scene, but by no means are they underprepared. Uh, composed mainly, mainly of Manchu aristocrats and even members of the Asian Giro family. In theory, the Young Shea is made up of the sternest loyalists to the government and his cause, with some supporters pointing out parallels between them and the imperial faction behind the Minji Restoration. Then you have the Young China Party. Uh, is considered to be some to the, be the greatest wild card in the race for power as opposed to uh, imperial veneration or rural reconstruction the young china party like their namesake wants to fundamentally reshape the concept of a chinese nation state thus their program is perhaps the most far-reaching of the three groups calling for a fundamental restructuring of society and defining the rules of the imperial state as a guiding hand 
in the development of the nation, where you have the new Chinese Emperor Reform Association represents the last but not least of the main contenders for power. Unlike, unlike the YCP or Yangshe, the NCERA is not a single party, but a larger alliance of two political blocs, the Constitutionalist Party and Lang Xuming's rural reconstruction movement. The former has emerged as a dominant partner thanks to its deep-rooted lineage, tracing back to reformist elements uh, before the Wusheng uprising to bolster their cause. Uh, Kuing Kuing Xu Xuing is also widely considered a direct heir of Kang Yui and Lang Qing Chao. For now, the two groups are united in their uh, advocacy for continuation and furthering of pre-Republican reforms initiated under CC and the Feng. But who will come to power? So now this is where we get the switching of all the parties. Uh, Social conservative will now be part of the NCERA. The authoritarian Democrat will be now known as the Young China Party. And the paternal autocrats will be now known as the Royalist Party. So, and again, I think I will utilize the NCERA. But once we click on this and uh, Belgium declared independence and we uh, choose the NCERA, uh, NCERA, we'll do our new benefactor. So we only choose this one here. We'll get radios. And our new benefactor... Uh, does change if you choose the Shangxi click or the uh, Shangdong click, by the way. So we no longer get refugees. But yeah, see, the Royalist Party is, is zero popularity because we pretty much destroyed the old party that was the Zili click that was there. So now we need to form an emergency government. So. <laughs> I can keep reading, but I don't read very well, so I'm going to let you guys read this. But this is asking you what party that you want to use. Um, if we choose any of them, there is an election that takes place every four years, and this will tell us the uh, effect. So if we choose the Young Shea, um, we get 100% political power plus 10% to paternal autocracy. And uh, our brother keeps an appointment as an advisor with plus 5% stability and plus 20% war support. Uh, if we choose the Young China Party, um, authoritarian democracy gets 10% bonus, and then we get Li Hung, Yong, uh, Hung uh, which is political power plus 5%, stability plus 5%, and re resources to market negative 15%. Excuse me again. If we get NCERA, uh, we get 100% political power, or 100 political power, uh, plus 5% in social conservative, conservatism and democracy. Uh, and then we get James Yen, which gives us resource gain efficiency and factory output. I like uh, the advisor for the Young Shi Party, but uh, like I said, we will choose the NCERA to become our ruling party. So now we are um, the social conservatives have, have taken. So go over here, choose our benefactor. Uh, the coup that's destroyed the Zili Click was not accomplished alone, like it or not, in order to reclaim our country from the despotic warlords. We had to cut a deal with local powers in the region. Now we must invite them to Beijing and see what they want in exchange for our support. Uh, I will wait, and we will jump up to early mobilization. Revolutionaries take over Mongolia. So it's no longer the Mad Baron. It is... Uh, yeah, Devi... That is um, Lozel, Social Democrat. We got resistance to occupation over here um, in the old Shandong click area. Not much I can do about it just a second, but we'll try to jump over there and uh, change it out. Um, we got the Belgrade Pact moving against Bulgaria. During World War One, Bulgaria got a huge chunk of land from Greece, Serbia, and Romania. Romania teams up uh, in the third uh, Bel Belgrade Pact, and will soon uh, declare war on Bulgaria. It looks like Albania as well. So we got um, our new benefactor, and it's Kui Young Yong, the guy that I said I wanted. This will tell you uh, the other two... Uh, options 
and this will let us know that uh, we can modernize the monarchy and we can replace corrupt governments or governors sorry so that will pretty much get rid of the fractured uh, empire there okay so we'll look at doing some of that but let's actually let's see so we can't do debt negotiations because we use the NCERA um, that'll jump from er, uh, civilian economy to early mobilization if we do this one we get more conservative social conservative mm -hmm. Legal Revisions Office. Uh, when established in 1902, the Legal Revisions Office and its persons pursued sweeping judicial and cons constitutional reforms, although the office did successfully promulgate the Dao Qing Xing, the Qing Criminal Code, and the Qing Civil Code. These successes were cut short by Republican anarchy as we rebuild the office's judicial services are once again required. So that gives us plus 15% stability. Um, that one looks like a very good deal there so we'll start using that one uh, so we can jump to early mobilization through a focus um, which chooses this and we will have um, our infantry oh we don't have enough uh, command power so we'll have to wait Let's build up our political power and our command power. Shouldn't take too long to get us uh, the 30 that we need to get him. Indochina failed in their revolution. So it's back to being the German East Asia. We uh, researched a, a dispersed uh, industry. And we'll start research, uh, researching the heavy machine guns. Um, Floyd Olson has become president in the United States. He is the social uh, democrat, so mediator of the Grand Coalition. Spain is also going into their three-way civil war. It was inevitable. We'll do... Uh, I guess they're taking a huge hit from Black Monday. Let's see. I don't see it, but we will uh, really quickly do uh, help them with their Black Monday. So we can get superior firepower. Uh, I need to actually save all of my army experience for as long as I can because we need to come in here to our focuses and we need to do army reform and uh, lessons of war because that'll get rid of our uh, really bad military buffs there. Liberal victory in Brazil. We can get uh, infantry specialist though. All right, the left Kuomintang has been defeated and now we have just the Nanjing clique in charge. So, or the League of the Southeastern Provinces. Now that we no longer have to worry about uh, a fight up in the north, we'll take our armies and put them against the uh, League because that would be our first enemy. We have bypassed the Emperor and people in one body because we got the Legation offices. And let's do... Oh, we're not um, we're not limited to just one. We can utilize all of the governments. Okay, I did not know that. I thought you were limited to just using uh, one or the other, but you can utilize all three of them. Um, you just take a huge stability loss each time you choose one. So. This will remove fractured empires. Uh, 
Um, the County Re uh, Reorganization Act is perhaps one of the most risky pieces of legislation since the 100 Days ref Reforms. It promulgation will, uh, will would irrevocably change the rural relations by imposing the emperor's will in a rural society, although risky, it's hoped that with the act, the country government will no longer be corrupt, self-serving institutions, but genuine tools for the emperor to better the lives of his subject, or we reinstitute the county assemblies. 1910, the Zeely Provinces experiment with self-rule through the establishment of county assemblies. The assemblies become institutions with, uh, with locally gentry or local gentries and elite project power and negotiate their relations with the center. Although the Zeely forcefully dissolved them from uh, in the early 30s, we can revive these assemblies to gain the favor of rural elites, which would cement our control over the countryside. Mm. I, I like everything about this. So... Well, we're going to do that, even though it's a little bit more dangerous. Uh, but we get rid of uh, Fractured Empire. So. And we'll see. I've been producing a steady supply of just guns. So our Imperial Guard is a horrible design. And our National Infantry Division is the also the same horrible design. So uh, we will at least make these 18 combat with. Um, whoops. Oh, I was supposed to save my army experience. Whoops. Uh, the Italian government falls. So the NIA has rocked the Italian Federation. So pretty much means that the uh, nationalist populace probably will take power. Oh, no. Uh, it means the non aligned have taken power. Alrighty. Civil War and the Long Loon Click. Now you got the Gong Dong Click and the uh, Guang Shi Click. So. We do have inefficient resources, but I only have five civilian factories. So, Socialists assume full control in Norway, so the Norwegian Socialist Republic has joined the Third International. Draw our offensive line there. We can get another um, political advisor. Let's see, who do I want? Ooh, the plus 20% recruitable population is very nice. I think I'm going to go with him. Uh, Lang Shimi. Yeah, so if I default on my debt, we remove uh, national debt. We gain uh, defaulted on foreign debt which uh, is consumer goods factory 7.5 percent construction plea negative 10 percent and trade deal opinion factor negative 100 spent for 700 days we replace or replace free trade with limited exports and the prosperity league dissolves mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We can modernize the monarchy. Um, let's do that, and then we'll probably default on our debts. I need... Yeah. I mean, I won't have enough guns for them, but we'll start producing more. Uh, Zing Zhuang Click has erupted in the war. War has broken out in Xing Chuan. Send in the troops. We get uh, max volunteer force divisions plus one, which is over here. Er, who do we support? Wait a second. We're supporting the Kumal Comet. Okay. Right, I'm not, I'm not. So, yeah. Okay. 
Um, oh, whoa. I didn't realize all my troops have become uh, green. That's not good. So we'll get you. We'll get, what's your template look like? Garbage. And garbage. All right, well. Get you two under... You're an irregulars officer, huh? Hmm. Yeah, we have a very, very small amount of uh, generals. And he has hidden sympathies for some reason, so... Hmm. Uh, not to looking good for you, so... Right. Uh, come back over here. Send volunteers. And we'll send Asian Giro Ziatio. He has to be... He, he's in the royal family. I don't know if he's like a cousin or, or something like that, but he, he has to be uh, a part of the um, royal family. Uh, America has fallen as, into their civil war. So you have the American Union states, which is the uh, authoritarian Democrat. You have the Pacific states, which is the uh, de uh, Democratic America, you have the United States, which is under Douglas MacArthur and a paternal autocrat, and then you have the combined sinless states of America, which is the socialist. Um, and I would like to play actually in my next playthrough um, an American Union States campaign uh, with Huey Long. Uh, so, if you guys would be interested in that, which I think you guys would be, because you gotta love Hoi for put our troops here on the border. Let's start pushing. Mm, not really worried about that way. Let's, let's, let's worry about this. Put you on aggressive. Yeah, Eek. East Turkmenistan, or Turkestan, sorry. East Turkestan has uh, went to war against the Xinjiang quick as well. We just finished radios. We can start doing dispersed industry level two. Yeah, having two uh, research slots is horrid. And I mean horrid. Oh, the shower restoration. So now, uh, and he falls ill. <sighs> All right. So now we had not only the Manchu restoration, we also now have, uh, oh, that's not good though. Mm. They are fascists. Hmm. All righty. Our uh, royal guard's not doing so well. And there goes the civil war. Uh, the destiny of America is at stake. So if we choose... If we choose the position of the emperor... Emperor, sorry. As we've been reorganizing the state following the fall of the vile Zili Quick, the Rump Assembly is called for the Monica Rule to be enshrined more directly in legal framework. There is general consensus among many in the court... The emperor's position can only be maintained with a strict adherence to non-intervention in matters of state policy. However, there is also a small but local minority, uh, particularly among idol ideologies of the late Kong Wei, calling for the safeguard of, of imperial prerogative. Uh, if the assembly itself is uh, deadlocked, we need a ruler above the fray of politics, or the assemb assembly should have a guiding hand if the need arises. I like that stability. Uh, and he is not a puppet still. Uh, he's still the restored emperor, but it gives us just a little bit more stability too. And he is still recognized to be the emperor. So let's uh, let's see here. Let's choose this. Get us some more weekly stability. That was the inter or institutionalize the rule reform movement. Actually, they're gonna cut us off if we don't move. And I'm just gonna be annoyed. And we'll start upgrading our rifles to the Hung Yong Type 27, and it cut us off. Where's my caliber? Now East Turk, uh, Turkestan has declared war on us as well. Come on. Let's 
fall of Burgeroos, so the Carlists have also fallen, I would say, here pretty soon. Uh, there we go. Um, hold on, let me try to get this encirclement. Uh, Belgium has also fallen to cynicalism. So pretty much the whole world has uh, became communist at this rate. So you got communist. Communist. You overthrew communism. Communist. Communist. Communists. Everywhere. That's why we are uh, not communist and why we will defeat the communists. So. Glory to the emperor. How many troops have I lost in this war so far? And we have a 12% win ratio with 781 loss. Hmm. Not really worried about troops, but it's still annoying. Beat him out of wall. How are you so? Wow. Okay. Our units, by the way, are incredibly weak. Uh, Gustav V has abdicted the throne in Sweden, so that means communism has probably won. Well, not communism, but social democracy. We got the rule reform. Um, we cannot do the new coronation. We either centralize the state, or we can get noble factory licenses. Um, it gives us more civilian factories. So let's do the uh, infrastructure modernization. Oh, no, no. Don't do that. Do default on debt. So we'll need to start doing the uh, defaulted foreign debt for 700 days. We'll need to get that done. Uh, second international is done. Uh, the only really bad news at this at this time, at this rate, is uh, our, our army is like garbage. Uh, there you go. Sweden did fall to communism. And Denmark is the only one that's still... Uh, not communists, and they are part of the Reichsback now. Crisis on the Danbu, so Austria had, or the Austrian, federalized Austrian Empire has now went to war against Hungary. And that'd be a fun one to play as Austria. Formation of the Moscow Accords. So now you have, uh, Moscow Accords. I don't think they have anybody in their group, so. And I think it just said Japan announced her ambitions, so. We can move to early mobilization. 1937 Dutch elections. I think we've stabilized this area. I don't think we're winning, though. Going. East Turkestan. I don't think there is any troops over here. Oh, there's one. Go this way. They're fighting them. Oh, now they're fighting us. Let me let me send my armies down this way. Beat them up. All right, Russia is now declaring war on all of their old territories. Uh, so Alasha Orda um, and all of these small countries down here. We, <laughs> we have defaulted on our debt. Do not recommend you do that, but uh, we did. Because we already uh, completed the focus NCERA. So if... The League of uh, Southeast Provinces did not win, and we went with the Zongshe first and just did their tree, then we could still have done uh, debt negotiations, but uh, those cards did not fall favorably for us. So we'll restore ceremonial rights. 
And we'll continue to go. Let's see. Uh, the Prosperity League dissolves. We don't need them. Uh, market liberalism has went to negative 100%. I'm pretty sure that means the uh, Pink King Commission, yep, is gone. So the Germans pretty much said, "Wow, you defaulted on the debt that you owed us, so bye." Um, Tangjing is now the Empire of Japan, so they did take it from the uh, Legation cities and Switzerland gave up a chunk of their territory to Communist France. So. Our biggest goal to fight is going to be, uh, oh, maybe not, but the uh, League of Southeast Provinces is um, guaranteed by Germany. Uh, Gandhi has taken power in the uh, Bariatia Commune, so there you go. You guys are in a faction. You guys are not in a faction. Peru declare war on Ecuador. Our armies are. I don't even know what our armies are doing over here. Probably won't be able to win. Yeah, whopping. Okay. You gotta love the AI in this game. Ooh. Surround him. Puerto Rico has broken free. So dumb. Not not Puerto Rico breaking free, but the how weak my army is and how uh how just incredibly weak they are. But um I think this whoa was the American Civil War in the United States uh, under MacArthur is just getting pummeled. So. Yeah, Theodore Roosevelt's son. Okay. Um, but I think we will end this episode here for episode two. I hope you guys have enjoyed, uh, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.